Hello friends welcome to Master Nurse today we bring to you an important update Nimhans the National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences Bangalore has announced the admission for various courses in nursing major courses are PhD in nursing MSc in psychiatric nursing MSc in neuroscience nursing and other courses too now let's take a glance at the admission notice to view the admission notification you just have to search for the nimans official website and you can choose academic announcements or you can go into the home page and select from announcements so the announcement page will open and the latest one will be the announcement for academic courses once the announcement page opens you will see four points number 1 is the prospectus for the academic year number 2 is the list of guides for phd courses number 3 is the admission notice and number 4 is the application link so i will post all the application uh, link and everything in the description. description box The first page shows the list of PhD courses that are available at Nimans. There are totally 21 PhD courses like biophysics, biostat, psychiatry, mental health education, rehabilitation, nursing, psychology, psychosocial support and disaster management and etc. and there are two types of admissions. Number 1 is the institute stipendary seats that are seats under the institute stipend which is open for all and the people who are availing the seats will get stipend from the institute. Number 2 is the external funding category external funding category is for government employees from nimans and other national institutes and also people who are working under various non governmental organizations and projects the seat will be sponsored by the concerned organization adding to this there are also three uh, master degree courses one is masters in public health the other one is masters in psychiatric nursing and the other one is masters in neuroscience nursing following this there are also fellowship courses there are totally nine streams of fellowship out of which there are five available for nurses the eligibility minimum requirement and other details are clearly given in the prospectus so the link for prospectus is also given in the description you can download it from the description the next is the list of important dates number 1 is the date of announcement that was on 11 4 2022 and the last date closing date will be 10 5 2022 exams will be held on 11 6 and 12 6 2022 2 it will be mostly in bangalore city on 13th the results of phd will be announced and 13th and 14th there will be interview for phd for the other courses the results will be on 26 2022 the co- courses will begin on 1st july coming to the fees details it will be 1500 rupees for general 1000 rupees for scst and people with physical disability will be will be exempted from the uh, fees so the day age will be calculated for as of 17 2022 age relaxation for scst will be 5 years and obc it will be 3 years and for any queries you can contact 08026995013 in the working hours Now we'll come into the main area the list of courses for which nurses are eligible so we may all think that nurses could do phd only in nursing and fellowship only based on nursing there are uh, there is a big spectrum on which the nurses can work on there are so many areas where research can be done so number 1 is phd in nursing the regular one the eligibility is msc nursing any specialty there are two seats available for external category only number 2 is phd in mental health education so the eligibility for this mbbs media studies yoga psychiatry msc nursing any specialty so here also two seats are there for external fund the next one is phd in mental health rehabilitation again eligibility for this is mbbs Uh, psychology msc psychiatric nursing and occupational therapy are eligible for this and other courses also the next one is phd in integrative medicine again for this eligibility is mbbs ma msc mphil msc in nursing any specialty again there are three seats for external funding category next one is phd in psychosocial support and disaster management it is a new department for this the eligibility will be any masters in uh, psych- uh, social work masters in psychiatric nursing masters in psychology so here there are four seats total seats open for all institute size stipendary and two seats for external funding category Next is about the master degree courses there are three courses which nurses can apply number 1 is masters in public health it is a very good field and has a good scope it is a two year course 
this uh, got started in the year 2013-14 there is total of 10 seats five for external funding and five for open that is institute stipendary the eligibility will be bsc nursing or post basic bsc nurse the next one is msc in psychiatric nursing so here again the eligibility will be bsc nursing there are totally nine seats out of which six is for institute stipendary and three seats are for nimans sponsored candidates the third one is msc in neuroscience nursing eligibility and number everything is same as psychiatric nursing only following this is a special uh, course that is a fellowship course this has a duration of only one year so you can choose any stream there are totally nine streams out of which five can be applied by nurses so anybody who has completed masters in nursing can apply for this course any discipline number one is fellowship in geriatric mental health nursing so this is a one year fellowship so there are no exams uh, for the completion of this course mostly it is only submission of reports or a small thesis the next one is for eligibility for this is uh, msc in psychiatric nursing only two seats are there for external funding and two seats for open the next one is psychosocial support in disaster management it is a new department and a new course with a lot of scope there are four seats two for uh, external funding category and two for open category next one is fellowship in mental health education uh, again msc nursing any specialty for this for uh, psychosocial support in disaster management uh, psychiatric nurse is needed so msc in psychiatric nursing for mental Mental health education msc any specialty is okay again for psychiatric rehabilitation there is a fellowship course same one year duration so msc nursing any stream can apply and the last one is fellowship in community mental health nursing again msc any specialty four seats are there so why you should apply for these courses so when you see the advantage of this the most important advantage is you can complete your education as well as you can earn because these fellowships in uh, nimans provide good stipend uh, for your course so you will also you'll be completing your courses as well as you will be getting a good stipend number two is you will be learning from india's best neuropsychiatric institution you will be a student in a central government institution your profile will become strong because of the nimans tag and the course and nimans tag will be having a worldwide recognition good stipend which starts from 3000 to 28000 based on your course you're going to be at uh, nimhans bangalore with a good ambience and good educational and uh, job opportunities everywhere thank you i have posted every, all the links in the description you can choose it from there application is uh, self explanatory and it can be easily done thank you do like and subscribe to our channel master nurse and do not forget to press the notification button so that my effort reaches you on time all the time thank you